Hi, boys and girls. How's everybody doing today? Are you having fun at jumping today? Okay, let's see who the smartest kid in the class is today. Who can tell me what holiday is coming up on Wednesday? It's actually two holidays. One holiday, I'll tell you, because it's a church holiday, but the other one, you should know. One is Ash Wednesday. This this Wednesday is Ash Wednesday, but it's also a very special day. Uh, anybody know what it is? Yeah, it's Valentine's Day. It's a great, great day. It's a day that we all talk about how much we love one another. And, and love is something that we all want. And, and it's something that's always better when it's shared. And uh, there's a symbol for love. Anybody know what the symbol for love is for Valentine's Day? I'm going to show you. And you're going to say, oh, of course. It's a heart, right? It, and this is two hearts, right? Two hearts that are connected. And... And it's, it's so nice because we celebrate love, the love that we have for one another, the love that we have for our parents and our families and our friends, and the love that God has for us and the love that we show to God. It's very, very special. And, and love is just makes you feel so, so good. And, and we talk about Valentine's Day. Will you be my Valentine? And, and God says, will you be my Valentine too? I love you every single day of your life. And, uh, and there's a special symbol for love in the church. Now, this is a little tricky. So this is the symbol that we use, right? We say we love you with all our heart, which is beautiful. But God has a symbol for love, too. And we see it in our church, whether you know it or not. Anybody know what the answer might be? Who's, who said that? I think you're right. It is the cross. This is the cross, and it's a hand-painted cross that I have hanging on my wall in my office, and it's God's symbol of love, because God loves us so much. In fact, there's a verse in Scripture, it comes from the Gospel of John, in the third verse, in the, the third chapter, in the 16th verse, it says, for God so loved the world, for God so loved the world, he gave his only begotten Son, that all who believe in him should have eternal life. Isn't that nice? And then there's another book in the Bible. The Bible, of course, is the book of God's word, right? We love to read from the Bible. And it comes to us in a letter by St. Paul. Anybody ever heard of St. Paul? Duh! We're sitting in St. Paul's Lutheran church right now. So St. Paul, he wrote a letter to the Corinthian church. And it's the first letter he wrote. So it's 1 Corinthians in the 13th chapter. And it talks about love. And it says that love is patient and love is kind. Love is, is always, always there. It's the most special thing in our lives. It's the greatest gift that God has for us. And it's the greatest gift that we can share with one another. Now, there's, there's different kinds of love. Right. So in the Greek, which is the language of the Bible, that is one of the languages that the Bible is written, there's no word for love. There's four different words for love. And the love that God has for us is called agape. Agape. And it's not a ooey gooey kind of ooh, I love you kind of. It's like I give you everything that I have. I pour out my whole heart for you, and I'll do anything for you. Just like our mothers and fathers, how much they love us. Well, God loves us even more than that sometimes, if you could even imagine that. So God's love she shared with everyone. God shares his love with us, and he wants us to share our love. So what better day than on Valentine's Day to share our love? So we look for the symbol of the heart and we look for the symbol of the cross. Both signs of God's love for us and our love for one another. So have a, a great, great Valentine's Day. I hope you, you have lots and lots of fun and, and, and tell somebody, you know what? I really love you. And it's not like, like I said, ooey gooey kind of. It's I really, I like you so much that I love you. And you're like my bestest friend ever. Have a great, great jump in and I'll see you guys soon. Okay. Bye-bye.